Certainly not your typical summertime pattern. It's been raining all day. No, we need for it to stop. <laughs> it's just been coming down. And hardly said, what can we expect? Yeah. The rain has been relentless, and unfortunately, we are still seeing that much of South Florida is getting soaked. The radar has been active since this morning, and as we look, you can see there's a lot of dangerous lightning as well. So keep in mind, and a reminder, very important, if you hear that thunder roar, that means the lightning is close enough, and you really want to wait until the storms pass. You want to be inside when any storm is producing dangerous lightning. And of course, monitoring the weather conditions here around Surfside, there have been showers moving through, and and even a few storms right now, we're still seeing some rain nearby in Bay Harbor Islands as well as Miami Beach getting soaked. And then also seeing the rain rolling in around North Miami, Little Haiti, parts of downtown Miami, Key Biscayne, Coral Gables, Kendall. And we just had a storm that rolled in around Doral over by the studios. A lot of lightning there. And then the heavier downpours are now around Weston and Sunrise, as well as moving into Oakland Park, Pompano Beach. The roads are slick and exciting. Expect the potential for ponding and flooding. Deerfield Beach, Coral Springs, also very wet right now. There's a lot of lightning around Davie and Southwest Ranches and Pembroke Pines, also seeing some lightning as well as near Hollywood and Hard Rock Stadium. Look at the Upper Keys right now. Very soggy conditions around Ocean Reef, as well as across the Middle and Lower Keys. And as we take a look at the tropics, watching two waves, the first of which really not too concerned with. It just has a low potential development east of the Lesser Antilles, but it's the wave that's out in the Central Atlantic. That has a high potential of becoming our next tropical depression or tropical storm. Elsa is the next name on the list as we head into the weekend and early next week. That is the timing. So, meaning Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you'll notice from looking at the models for the first wave that it could even just stay to the south of the Caribbean islands. But then take a look at the second tropical disturbance and how many of the models keep it moving towards the west northwest, possibly across the Lesser Antilles, the Caribbean, and yes, even a few models steering it in our general direction, which is the reason why we are going. Going to closely monitor it. For today, though, still unsettled. The rain chance is high. Passing storms will continue to produce downpours, lightning, and we could even see some gusty winds with some of the storms. Yesterday, we had a water spout. There could be water spouts. Voters, heads up for that. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s and that breeze out of the east, 15 to 20 miles an hour. So as we head into Thursday, unfortunately, I wish I had better news. But we are in for more of the same and a mix of sun and scattered storms as we head on Saturday and Sunday. CBS 4 News at noon. We'll be right back after the break.